couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff in which we'll learn something that you've asked me to do for a long long time, Africa by Toto. First I'm gonna play you my arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're gonna break it down note by note, step by step, chord position by chord position, everything. Breaking it down so you can play it too with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this, enjoy! So in order to play the riff, you start with a G chord. Open strings, two, three, and four, okay, with three on the sixth string. Okay, any finger would do, the first, the second, the third, the little finger as well. Any finger on the sixth string on three, okay, with the open second, third, and fourth strings. Then, uh, after you play this chord five times, okay, you put on these fingers. Okay, all three fingers except for the four finger on two, two, and two on strings three, four, and six. Okay, this is F sharp minor seven. And the reason I'm using these fingers instead of these fingers is A, that it doesn't stretch my wrist and tendons here. Okay, this is more comfortable and more healthy. You keep your hands straight. And the second reason, which is the musical and practical reason, is is that you need to take the exact same chord up to the seventh fret, okay, for B minor seven. Okay, seven, seven, seven on strings three, four, and six. And you use the forefinger on five on the E string, okay, so we can imitate the synthesizer effect there. Okay, um, just in a guitarish manner. So, okay, the F sharp minor seven, just for a moment there. And then you take it from 2 to 7, you add 5 on the E string, and you just play the chord any way you like. Now, if you want to imitate the original, you just play strings 1, 2, and 3 over and over again. Okay? But you can just randomly play anything you want. Right? Anything. Just uh, whatever you feel like playing at the moment. Um, the verse starts with an A chord, and the melody is just... 
the E string. Okay, so just play the chord any way you like. Okay, and then you play the E string two more times. Okay, you can play the whole chord. And, and then you have uh, C sharp minor seven. So it's a bar on four, A minor shape, minus the pinky. Okay, and I play strings two to five, just the whole set. Okay, and I play. Yeah, I play the chord twice or the second string twice. Okay? And then you have a couple of options. You can play seven with your little finger on the second string and then the E string on four. Okay? Like this, which creates a ringing effect. Okay? You can also hammer it on. Okay? You play it twice and then hammer it on. Or you can play a series of sixth harmonies. Okay. Playing strings two and uh, two and uh, four, sorry. Okay. And then on strings two and four, you play seven and nine. Okay. Using your little finger and the third finger. Okay. This or. Okay. Now, again, this repeats so you can alternate between the two. You can play this the first time and this the second time. Yeah, and then you have five on the E string, okay? But you need your little finger for it because then you put, okay, a bar on two for F sharp minor, okay? So any way you do it, your next finger is the little finger, okay? So that's the transition, okay? So you need to put it on. Okay? So just prepare yourself mentally to put the little finger on five on the E string, so you move the, the whole hand. Okay? In preparation for the bar. Okay? So I create a syncopation here, I play the five first and then I play the chord. So, okay? Or, okay? Anyway, I just prepare myself mentally for this movement. Okay, this sharp movement downwards. Um, and then you have A again with two, two, three on the second string. Okay, so you can push it. Then okay, slide it. Okay. And then you have the E string again with G. Okay, so you just put a finger on three on the sixth string and play a G6, strings one, two, and three with three on the sixth string. Okay, and then Okay, three, three, two on the second string. So two, two, three, E string, E string with G, and then three, three, two on the second string. And then you have B minor seven, but I play it like this. Okay, this is a B minor seven, believe it or not, um, with the open second string three times, that's the melody, so it's two zero two on strings five four three. And then you play the two on the third, okay, so you get this, okay, then you have F sharp minor again, uh, sorry, but this time, like this. The two, two, and two that you put at the beginning, but on strings two, three, and six instead of three, four, and six. So you let it ring, and then you play the open second string and two on the third. Okay, um, you can pull it off if you like. Okay, you pull it off, and if by mistake you brush the E string as well, okay, and you hear this, then it doesn't really matter because it's so quick. Okay, that it just adds flavor, it adds that add 11 sound. Okay, but if you don't want to pull it off, yeah, you just pick both of them. You take the finger off of the second string and you pick both of them, strings two and three. Okay, and then you have uh, the riff again. Okay, any way you like to play it. So that's the verse, and you play it three times, and then the fourth time you have a different ending. So let's just recap first. A, and then C sharp minor seven with the hammer on, okay, or the sixth harmonies. And then pinky to five with bar on two, 
F sharp minor, and then A. G, and then B minor 7, and then F sharp minor 7. And then riff, start with G. Okay? Then the fourth time around, you play it a little bit differently. You play the A. Okay, and then you have the C sharp minor 7. You play it twice, and then you slide the little finger to 9, and then 7, and then 5. Okay, so it's... Okay? Okay? Um, slide to 9, 7, and then 5. Might look and feel a bit inconvenient at first, but when you're in the moment, it kind of flows. So... Okay, you see? Um, the movement is kind of fluid when you're in the zone. It's all about feeling the music. If you feel it, the hands obey. It's just all about internalizing the concept, the rhythmical concept. Um, all right, so after you do the, the F sharp uh, minor seven, you have this. You have the A bass with strings one and three, a sixth harmony again, okay? Uh, you play nine and nine on strings one and three with A, okay, twice, and then, okay, then you play 10 and 11, strings one and three again, and then 12 and 12, okay, so it's, and then you open the third string and you play 12, zero, 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 which is a G chord, okay, a G6 chord again, it's the same as this, okay, but with a D bass. Okay, so it's G6 over D. Okay, with 12 on the E string, and then 10, 10, and then using your little finger, okay, you slide from nine to 10. So again, a rapid movement, okay? You have to move the whole hand, okay? Or use your pinky all the way. Okay, and then you bar the seventh fret, okay? The F, uh, the B, minor okay the f sharp minor here it's the same shape here on seven now you have the same uh the same idea so and it's a, it's good training for the for the little finger as well if you want to practice it that way um so that's the fourth uh the fourth verse line okay so a same way c sharp minor nine seven and then five with F sharp minor, and then the uh, sixth harmony A, and then nine nine, 10, 11, and then 12 and 12, and then strings one, two, three, and four with 12, and then 10, 10, nine slide to 10 on uh, the E string with your little finger, and you play the B minor chord, okay, on seven, bar on seven. So, Now, the chorus is actually a lot simpler. It's E minor seven, okay, with three and three on strings one and two. So it's E minor with the high D and G note. So it's E minor seven, okay? And you, you just play it any way you like. Uh, you just hint at the harmony. Okay, you don't have to do da 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 da. Okay, you, you can, it's, it's an arrangement. You don't have to follow the lyrics verbatim. Okay, and then you do the same thing with C at nine, which is the same uh, chord, but instead of two and two on strings five and four, you have three and two. So it's C with three and three on strings one and two. So okay, you can play the bass and then the chord three times. Okay, and then you have the same chord, but these two fingers go to G. Okay, so strings six and five. Okay. And then you have D, just the D chord twice. That's the first and second lines. Okay, you can do it any way you like, uh, as long as you emphasize the harmony. Um, e minor seven, C nine, C add nine, G, and then D, twice. And then after you do it the second time, you play the same sequence of chords, but on the E minor and C, you just add the three on the E string. Okay, for E minor, the second string is open now. And then
then for C, you have the whole chord, okay? I'll explain why in a second. And then the G chord is again with three and three, and then D again, okay? Just as before. Now, why uh, do I open the second string on E minor? Because the harmony is a little bit different on the original song. Okay, so listen to the difference. Instead of... Okay? It's a different voicing. Okay? And that happens in the original as well. Okay? So on the third line, just uh, leave the three on the E string, but use the rest of the original open chord with E minor and C. G and D remain the same. 3 and 3 on the E string for G, on the E string and B strings, and then D. Okay? Then you let the D string ring. Okay? And then you pull off the 2 to 0 on the E string. So it's. Okay? You wait a moment, let it ring, then pull off the finger from the E string, then play the second string on 3, then play 2 on the E string again. So. Okay? And then. E minor, okay? And then D over F. So it's three and two on strings two and three with the open D string with two on the sixth string. You can use your thumb or your forefinger. So, okay? Whichever is convenient for you. But you play it once and then immediately go back to the riff. So, yeah, remember to let it ring. And then E minor, you play it any way you like, then that dramatic moment. You play the chord, you mute it, and then you start the riff. So and then you go back to playing the riff. Then you can just play the song all over again, the whole verse and then the chorus, and then after you play it the second time, you play the solo. Now the solo, um, you can look at it two different ways. The technical aspect of it is a little bit difficult, but the musical aspect of it is actually pretty straightforward. It's actually just a scale, just a pentatonic scale going down. But on the guitar, technically, it's um, pretty difficult in finger styles, so you have to practice it. Um, you play the A bass, you put a finger uh, the third finger on 9 and 9, the strings 1 and 2, and you pull it, uh, you, you slide it down to 7 and you pull it off to 5. Right? And on 5, you have the first finger waiting barred on strings 1 and 2. So, okay, it's a fourth uh, interval. Okay, it's a fourth harmony. Okay, so, and then. You do it again, five, uh, seven pull off to five. Okay, so it's nine slide to seven pull off to five, seven pull off to five. Okay, after A. Okay, and then you have two and two on strings one and two, and you put the pinky on five, and you either hammer it on or pick it. Okay, you can pick it, you can hammer it on. And then immediately, you play four on the fifth string with your third finger, so okay, for the C sharp note. Okay, remember the verse is A, then C sharp minor. That's the same thing you do here. Okay, third finger on the fifth string on four. Okay, that's the movement. And after you play the bass, you play. Okay. You keep this note ringing as much as possible, and you play. Okay, five pull off to two, pull off to zero on the E string, and then two pull off to zero again, and then two on the second string, open E string. Okay, so. And then I put the thumb on two on the sixth string, okay, for convenience, uh, for the F sharp bass. And then you have this. So F sharp, and then two pull off to zero on the second string. And then on the third string, you have two, four, two. 
okay? I hammer it on and pull it off, so... And then you have four on the fourth string, and then two on the third again. You vibrate it, then play A, and then four on the third, four on the fourth, and I slide it down for effect. So it's confusing. You have to keep timing. Okay? Okay, so practice it very, very slowly. Um, even though practicing it slowly makes it even more confusing, but there's no other way around it. Okay, so if you can get it to this speed, okay, then it gains musical context, but if you practice it very, very slowly, you might lose the context because it's a pentatonic scale and it's kind of repetitive and colorless when it's played slow. Then you have G, okay, just an arpeggio, the third fret on the sixth string, then strings four, three, and then you have 3 2 0 on the second string, double pull off. Okay, and then 2 pull off to 0 on the third. And then you have okay, a bar on 2 with 4 pull off to 2 on the fourth. And the bass is the sixth string on 2. Okay, so it's. Okay, and then. And then you have this. Okay, 2 0 on the third, 4 on the fourth. And then you have. Okay, now this out of context sounds awful, okay? It's uh, the B bass, two on the fifth string, with two pull off to zero on the fourth. And then, okay, it's slide to four, two zero on the fourth string, and then you have the G chord head, uh, two and three on strings five and six. So, um, you're almost done with the solo. You have one extra lick. Okay, and, but you play the riff before that. Right? So just to recap so far, A. F sharp, okay? The C sharp with the third finger, that's in my opinion the most challenging finger position here. Right, this, and then the F sharp. A, G sharp again and then um, B okay. you play the riff then you have A with this okay. and then you have the C sharp minor and then this back to something you've already played Okay, so it's A with four pull off to two, hammer on to four on the fourth string. And then, okay, it's two, four, two on strings three, four, three. Okay, and then I slide four to six on the third string, I put five on the second string, I bar the fourth fret. Now I have a rudimentary C sharp minor chord. I play strings uh, two three two on five uh, on five six five with four on the, the fifth string. So many numbers, hard to keep track. I know. And then this. So okay. And then little finger slide to nine, seven, and five. Back to the end of the verse. And you're back to the chorus. So that's the solo. And then you play the song um, to your heart's content. I just finish with this. So um, before you go download the free tab from the website, the link is below in the description. You subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I don't see any reason why not. You have hundreds of free lessons here and I upload regularly. So join the Lick and Riff community. I'm happy to have you here. So um, 
Go download the tab. The link is below in the description. It's for free. Everything on Lycanrus is for free. But if you want to give something back anyway, you have a donation button on the website or a Patreon link in the description below. So anything you choose to give back, I thank you in advance for your generosity and everything goes right back into Lycanrus and to making your lessons, your guitar education. So thank you very much for watching. Enjoy this. Bye for now.